Well, one of the things, obviously, that's on the tip of everyone's tongue is always the issues right now with the opiate issues, heroin being specific. And we've been partnering with uh, the law enforcement, other county agencies, the courts, probation, to try to change how we were handling things. What we're doing is, um, on the enforcement side, is we're getting out, we've been using what we call directed patrols. Basically, we take um, maybe a member from another local jurisdiction, a patrol deputy, somebody from our narcotics unit, a um, canine officer, and we look for areas when somebody drives to another location out of the county to pick up their drugs or narcotics and they're coming back, what we do is we go look to that area, directed enforcement there. We may make a stop on somebody after getting probable cause. You make a stop on them, maybe find them in possession of some stolen property, syringes, warrants for their arrest, or potentially under the influence or, or possession of heroin or another controlled substance. Very successful. We do it for three or four hours at a time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So our targets can't say, well, we know that they're coming every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from six to nine and avoid those times. Well, I think that that has impacted our overall numbers for our property crimes, and particularly our burglaries and thefts. They have gone down. One of the crime trends that we're following in right now is our heroin has gone down a little bit, but methamphetamines are back. And uh, there's a weird correlation for that. It used to be that Claremont County had a high level of meth labs that we were neutralizing and our meth labs have gone down, but what we're finding is, is that the users are driving to other parts of the state to obtain their methamphetamine, their ice. Another thing that we're following is, is that our overdose deaths have tapered off the last couple of years. Again, I attribute that to some of the collected efforts that we're doing with other law enforcement in the county, with the court system, with our, our CAS program, with the alternative sentencing that we have in the jail. Uh, I think the use of Narcan has become very prevalent in the county. All those things that we're doing is we're starting to see the trend down. It's not just one thing, and it's not just us going out and arresting people, but it's a combination, and even education in, in schools and partnering uh, with the mental health and recovery and some of the other groups that we do, the Opiate Task Force. So that's all that, all that connection, all those different you know, parts, the different pillars, you know, if you take one or two of them away, we may not be as successful as um, that we are right now. So it's promising.